Today I wanted to share a little trick that uh, I was taught and I see a lot of pros do it. I don't see anybody really talk about it, but I also see equal number of people that um, have never been taught to, to stack hair what I believe to be the correct way. Um, and part of the flaw is, is that a lot of the hair stackers sort of um, look like they're designed for you to shove hair down the top. Um, in my mind, um, the bell is, is completely worthless and actually is counterproductive. Um, so it's pretty simple. Basically, we find our, our patch that we want to cut off. Maybe we're tying an elk hair caddis like I've got in the vise here. I come in and get a nice uh, clean patch and try and cut as cleanly as I possibly can so I get a nice level end. And then I'm going to come and take my tool and brush out that under fur. And brushing out that under, under fur um, helps keep the fly dry because it won't get wet and, and, and drag the fly down. It also removes the resistance um, so that when you're stacking this, you're not going to have a problem. So now you've got nice clean butt ends and we're going to hold the stacker horizontal and we're going to come backwards into this with our ends and we're going to just kind of slide it up there just like that. So now we've got those, those uh, tips right up against the edge. We're going to come on with our bottom, still ho holding it horizontal, and go back to vertical. We're going to tap it on something. Come back to horizontal, and you're slowly just going to kind of twist the end off. I don't know how critical that is, but it's something I've started doing. Um, it's kind of a habit. Uh, it reduces the suction and reduces the point where you end up with all your tips here in the end, so it's helpful to me. Then we basically just reach up here, grab this, grab a little bit further up on the end and pull out any excess fibers that are short, and now we've got nice clean stacked ends um, and we're ready to go. I hope that helps.